Assalamualaikum. I am Smriti from Learn Flutter with Smriti. This is part 20 of complete e-commerce app with admin panel. We are looking at how to build out a complete e-commerce app from scratch. For those of you just joined and never seen part 12 to 19, we have looked at how to join as admin, how to choose product type, how to pick up multiple images, how to validate multiple forms. Today we are looking at add user product, delete user products and update user product functions. So without further any delaying, let's take a look at our screen. What we have on screen today, you can find the codes on my GitHub repo. You can download and play with. So let's take a look at our favorite code editor. Let's go to live directory. It's services directory in the product services file in that file we created get product with id user favorite products and products function and today we will create add user product delete user product and update user product functions all right we will start with add user product function first we will create a future function in your brain asking why future function okay let me explain since a method that takes some time cannot return immediately it will return the promise of delivering a value when it's done that's called future like the promise to load a number from the database would return a future integer while the promise to load images from database would return a future string and while the promise of return a list of foods from an API would return a future list of foods. So you can think like future t is something that in the future will give us a t. Okay, let's create the future. As we want to return products detail, in type we will define string. And its function name at user product. In that function, first we will define current user's UID. We are taking a final variable to define to map. Do you know to map? To map to post map data into server or database. So in that would be product to map. For that in parameter we will pass product class. And now in that would be product to map. Okay, now in product owner, we'll assign current users UID. And now we will create a products collection. To do so, we are taking Firestore as we created a Firebase Firestore instance. Okay, so now collection. Collection path would be products. Now we will put it into a final variable. Now we have a collection and then we can be apply add method. In that data would be product to map. Now 
now we will put into a final variable as we have to wait until it being complete to define that we have a cured await to use this keyword we have to add another keyword async When we call update on that, we are just updating on in-memory representation of the document and not actually updating the data in the database. In that, we will update product search key. To update that, we will use field value and array union what are actually field value and array union field value can be used when writing document fields with set or update method and array union that returns a field value that tells the server to union the given elements with any error value that already exists on the server okay elements would be list as we will update product type error values so in that would be product map list and product dot product type dot to string and lowercase if you need add item to the existing array you can apply this method and last we have to return doc reference dot id okay now we are done with add user product function now we will create our next function delete user product okay so in that first would be feature function as we will define to delete product with yes or no in type would be boolean and its function name delete user product To delete a specific document, first we have to define a collection. In that collection would be products Now we will put it into a final variable. And now we will define document in parameter we will pass a string value product ID now we will add the product ID in document to delete specific document we have a method delete we will use that and it will return true to use return statement we have to use async keyword okay so we are done with delete user product now we will move on our next function update user product Okay, so first we will create a feature function in type would be string
and its function name update user product in that also we will define product map in parameter we will pass product class and in that would be product dot to update map that we created in product class first we will define products collection and we will put it into a final variable to update specific document now we will define document In that would be product dot id and we will put it into a final variable to update specific document we have a method update now we will use that in that would be product map as the function will give us a response in future we have to add await keyword to use that keyword we have to add async keyword now we will add a condition if product dot product type not null it will take update method to update product type error values so we will copy that and paste it here in that all things are same and last it would be return doc reference dot id So, we are done with three methods. Time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell icon to get notification as I am upload new videos every time.